Hi students, welcome to our physics class now. So in this class we are going to learn about what is the thermite process and so what are its applications in the daily life. So it is a topic in 10 to last physical science in the principles of metallurgy chapter important question for 2 marks and 4 marks. So what is the thermite process? So the reaction between metal oxide for example metal oxide is Fe2O3 the reaction between metal oxide and metal is called a thermite process so metal so here uh, example taken aluminium or sodium so like that so the reaction between metal oxide and metal is called a thermite process but in this process uh, uh, so much of heat energy is released so it is a highly exothermic reaction exothermic reaction means so the chemical reaction in which heat is liberated heat is released so it is highly exothermic reaction so here large amount of heat uh, uh, heat release takes place so the large amount of heat released the large amount of heat released can convert the metal into molten state so in this reaction the met from the metal oxide metal can be separated and which will be converted into molten state that is liquid state so these are the three points related to thermite process students now what are the applications for what are the applications of thermite process in the daily life this process is used in welding the metals so in a welding this process is used so you can also see this this one so it is used to join it is used to join the railings of railway tracks students so here the reaction between metal oxide and aluminium so Fe2O3 and 2Al gives rise to Al2O3 plus 2Fe and heat so this molten metal so this molten iron can be used for joining the railings of railway tracks it is also used to join the cracked parts of machines or metal utensils so these are the uh, some applications uh, of thermite process in the daily life students so you can see again from the top so these are three points for the definition and uh, three points from the applications so that's all students important question